what is up guys, welcome to another video and today we are going to be talking about Horizon 2 for a while. Um, I don't know, I guess this is kind of a follow up to yesterday's commentary because I kind of mentioned Horizon and um, but I didn't really talk, talk about it in depth so I thought you know I'm just going to talk about, about what Horizon actually disappointed me in and you know, just kind of the things, little gripes I had with the game. Um, obviously it's still out, I still do enjoy the game, um, obviously still like love playing the game, it's, it's still a solid 7 out of 10 for me. But, you know, I'm just going to talk about some of the, you know, bad things about the game. Some of the things I was a bit disappointed by and why Horizon 2 wasn't really a full success for me. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to quickly talk about that and um, I hope you guys go on to enjoy the video. If you do, make sure to hit the like. Um, but without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so, again, like, these are only very, very, very few gripes. Um... The game is great. Like I love playing the game. It's still one, you know, of the best racing games we've seen in recent times. But I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I have a few gripes. Um, you know, like just little things with like getting the like the game feeling a bit repetitive, and you know, with you know that the kind of little glitches and stuff they had on launch and there's so many little little things which you know it's about the game which doesn't end up you know making the game feel polished um, one thing I had with Drive Club is I was hooked on it you know I, I was hooked on it I couldn't stop playing it you know I had more sleep than game time I mean had more game time than sleep on the weekend you know generally I was just absolutely I loved that game you know as I was addicted I was hooked onto it Horizon 2 for some reason really felt repetitive um, after maybe like the first week, the game just felt so so repetitive, and it, like, eh, like it felt like it was kind of a chore to play in a way. That's why I've kind of stopped playing it recently. Um, you know, I didn't really want to play it. I, I kind of felt like it didn't really have any worth to its gameplay, um, as where you know the crew drive club it has that kind of extra worth. Maybe because the progression system is better. You know, you don't get a Ferrari in the first five minutes of gameplay, or you know something across those lines. You kind of feel a bit more rewarded. Um, and I also had Forza Rewards, so right off the bat I had like a million credits. You know, um, so I guess in a way that was an, a thing that really disappointed me was the progression system. It was way, 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 way too fast. You know, really what I would have preferred would have been you know having the Lambo to start. Maybe similar to how Underground 2 does it, you know, you have the Lambo for a few races, then you drive over to Nice for the actual festival, um, and you get back in your banger and like, you know, it's kind of like there, you know, that would have been really cool, but instead, no, you just have the Lambo for a bit, then you get into your Supra or your Z4, which isn't even that low, lower end of a car, and then, uh, you know, after about five events, you get a showcase event where you win a Ferrari. Not that... You know, like it's it's good that you know it's giving you more cars in a way, but it kind of feels like it, the car has no worth to it, and I think that was something that really kind of annoyed me in the first few missions, I guess, where you kind of just got like constantly given rewards, and you know, car high-end cars like the Ferrari, the P1, the LaFerrari, and all these kind of cars didn't really have a sense of worth to them. My next big problem, I would say, is the story. Um, there isn't one. Basically, you go against this Ben dude, and he's like, yo, you want to race? And I'm like, yeah, cool, I'll go around for a road trip. Um, I don't know. I think I'm not the only one, but I kind of miss a good story in a game. And at the start of the, the actual game, when I was playing it, and I first got it right off the bat, I loved it. I loved the whole thing. It was like, I'm going on a road trip. Then the, the novelty runs out. The novelty really does run out, you know, say after the... the about after a week of gameplay, you know, you get on your like 18th road trip and nah, 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 it just gets a bit repetitive, you know, um, and I, I, I guess the road trip element is kind of, a, it gets a bit overdone and a bit, you know, overzealous in a way and I guess it just kind of gets a bit boring. Um, and you know, I kind of miss having, you know, at the far at the start, I didn't. You know, I was talking to a friend on Skype, uh, and on the forum chat, and they were like, "Oh, you know, I hate that houses no story." And I was like, "No, I'm okay with it. I think it's okay." But you, then you can kind of come to, you know, the realization that having that cheesy story kind of gave it another, it gave it another element, you know. Um, and how, not having that cheesy story really kind of takes a element away from me. So I would say not having a story really kind of does affect how the single player plays out, really. Um, another thing is, you know, having the seamless multiplayer, it's okay, you know, like, I'm not going to complain and say the thing is, oh, just, I hate it, I hate it, no, I actually do like it, you know, but the game doesn't know whether it wants to be a multiplayer MMO or a single player just, you know, one-off experience, it doesn't know what it wants to be, you know, in the sense that 
He doesn't know whether, you know, you want to constantly play with friends. Like, the driver tiles, I guess they're cool, but in a way, they get really annoying. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys had the same experience, you know. Um, but I feel like everything gets a bit same old, same old repetitive. It kind of goes back to the same, um, the, 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 the first issue I had where kind of the races get repetitive. Everything kind of feels a bit, you know, lacklustre. I'm not constantly giving surprise after, after surprise after surprise. It's all very, all very, you know, repetitive. I don't like that, that that factor of things, you know. It kind of, I don't know, like it it, it just gets a bit old, um, and I, I don't like that. Drive Club is constantly giving me new cars, which I which actually feel different. That's another thing. The cars don't really feel too different. And the last thing I'm going to say before I actually do end this video is D L C. Oh my God! I, I, there's so many things I could talk about for D L C um, on disc content. There's, there was obviously on disc content for that first um, DLC pack, the mobile pack. There's no way one week after launch, one freaking week after launch, th they planned that. They so, so, so planned that. They knew that the game wasn't going to last longer than a week for the campaign. So they thought, you know what we're going to do? We're going to add some DLC in. We're going to make it pay DLC. We're going to add an F-Type. We're going to add, you know, some Clio, you know, which is the most... You know, lost like that is the worst branded car nowadays. The Clio, if you, if you ask me. You know, they're gonna add all this on on disc DLC content. I guarantee, I 100% guarantee there is more DLC on that disc which you don't know about. I'm 100% confident that you know there might be an M3, there might be you know like an, another open world car, an open um, drive car. I'm 100% confident and this really drives me up the wall, the wall when people do that whether it's Destiny, whether it's Halo, whether it's Forza, wh whatever it is. When there is on disc content it really really grinds my nipples and I tell you what that is definitely the most infuriating thing about this game is the on DLC content. I, when I pay 40 quid for a game, I want it to be add-on, not thing that's on the disc. When I pay 40 pound for stuff that's on the disc or 20 pound or however, however much it was, I expect to get everything that's on that disc, not to pay 20 pound 20 pound extra to unlock the content. And oh, it annoys me so much. It annoys me, it annoys me so so much. Anyway, guys, um, I do want to say it's not a, like a hating bit. Well, it is kind of in a way, but I still enjoy Horizon. You know, Horizon is still a great game. I'm still gonna make videos about it. But these are just some of the things that really, really just grinded my nipples. Like really, really did. Um, I'll tell you one game I did hate: Forza Five. I absolutely fucking hated that game. Nothing like Forza Four. Forza Four was a great game. Forza Five, nah, <laughs> that was terrible. In my opinion, obviously. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe. I will see you later. Um, hopefully tomorrow, I'm going to upload some Drive Club tomorrow. Because I have, I've kind of gone away from the Drive Club stuff. And I kind of want to get back into it. So tomorrow, Drive Club, I will see you later. Peace.